how's everybody doing? It's Robert from Cash's Treasures, and I got another video for you today. Uh, but first off, I want to say um, Happy Easter to everybody that celebrates. Um, if not, then um, Merry Sunday. Uh, but I got another great Allen and Ginter set for you today. I think you guys will find the humor in it. I think you guys will like this set here. So, um, this is a um, 2022 Topps Allen & Ginter set uh, called Get That Bread. Now, of course, uh, you know, referencing money as bread, cheddar, papers, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but this is talking about sandwiches. Now, I know it's a highly debate on whether or not a burger is a sandwich but we won't get into that because that'll just spiral down a rabbit hole that is really crazy. So, for the sake of this set, we'll just consider that these are all things on bread and not so much a set of sandwiches. Okay, so like I said, this is a 2022 Allen & Ginter by Topps. Um, this is a uh, normal card size, um, not their, um, you know, not the tobacco style sizes like this right here, So, which I've done um, episodes on before. This is an interesting set that I might do in the future, but uh, holographic. You can see me in the background. But uh, so this is the first one is a burger, and we'll flip it over. And if you want to read it, fried or grilled. And the second one, we have an Italian sub. Pop this over. And also, after we go through this set, uh, we will pull the winner for last week's... Um, Med Balls versus GPK card pack. Um, so we will have our winner for that. <coughs> Excuse me. This looks like some form of sandwich here. I am not even going to try to pronounce that because I'll butcher it like crazy and I'll probably screw it up. But let's see what... Yeah. 1950s, Vietnamese food option. Translates to bread. But, so, okay, cool. Pickles and meats. So it's basically a sub. Awesome stuff there. Good old PB&J. Can't go wrong with a PB&J. The number one school lunches well i mean not nowadays because it's so crazy with the fact of uh you know uh yeah, what the heck i just noticed that there's a crease in the top of that car they sold me a junk set well, look at that crease but not so much nowadays because of the fact of being allergic to peanuts not me but i'm just saying like a lot of school kids uh, that peanut butter is usually stays far away from school lunches nowadays. The Cuban sandwich. Now, you definitely get a lot of those down in Florida. But uh, if you like a press sandwich, a panini in a sense, Cuban sandwiches are right up your... I said sandwich. Cuban sandwiches are right up your alley. Now, kind of what really makes it a Cuban, besides the fact that it's pressed, is that it has pickles and mustard on it is a lot of what makes a Cuban a Cuban. But, and a pastrami Cuban at that. Nice. Now the next one will be something that uh, a lot of you may not be familiar with. Good old pork roll. And no, it is not Taylor Ham. I do not call it that. It is pork roll to me. Um, 
but this is a regional meat. And no, it is nothing like bologna. And we'll have that argument if you want to. But pork roll is one of the best meats on in the world, in my opinion. Pork roll, egg, and cheese. Can't go wrong with that as a breakfast sandwich. It's awesome. 1856. Secret recipe of New Jersey politician. John Taylor. Because, of course, Taylor ham. But Trenton pork roll. That's why I like. There's also cases. But it's not called Taylor ham to me. Pork roll. And you guys would love pork roll if you tried it. I bet. Maybe. Meatball hero. I love the way that sandwiches, you know, basically hoagies. I call them hoagies because, of course, where I'm in New Jersey. But I love how, you know, certain areas, a sub, a hero, a grinder, you know, depending on where you're at, it's called something different, but it's pretty much all the same thing. You know, but I just love how, you know, regional names get put into play on certain things. It makes it cool. Meatball heroes. See, it even, it's just, it also can be called a sub, hoagie, or grinder. But hero is just dependent on where you're at in New York. Cool stuff. Turkey club. Can't go wrong with some turkey and an extra slice of bread and some bacon. <coughs> turkey club. Nice. Of course, you want to know the origins of the turkey club. There you go. Iceberg lettuce, which has no nutritional value. It's mainly just water. Throw some romaine lettuce up there. Get you a little bit darker green leafy vegetables. And a hot dog. Now that's one of those other ones that are debatable on whether a hot dog is a sandwich. But, like I said, for the sake of this, we're saying that it's anything on bread. Not so much a sandwich. But. An American down 70 per year. I see, that seems like a lower number. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I had a hot dog yesterday, a couple of them. And, I mean, that's just the beginning of the, you know, the, the season in a sense of the summer months of when we start grilling out and everything else like that. But, so, this is a really interesting set. Um, a cool addition to my collection. Um, and uh, I'm glad to have it in my collection and uh, if you guys check it out, it's it's an interesting collection. And uh, it's definitely one that is outside of the normal, outside of the usual. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and switch over to um, pulling the winner for our um, pack of... Let's see. Let's bring it out here. Of our Med Balls vs. GPK stickers. Four exclusive cards. A four-piece set. Uh, limited edition to 1,500 packs. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll never know um, exactly how many because who knows what's going on with this set. But uh, we'll switch over and we'll pull that winner. So... Let's go ahead and, uh, and switch this up. Okay, here we are with the good old Wheel of Names. And we're going to shuffle this a bunch of times. We have everybody on here that shuffle, 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 shuffle. We have everybody on here that did the hashtag Mad Balls on uh, last week's video. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pull a winner. And see who we have here. So let's hit this button right here in the middle and see what we got. See who the winner is. And the winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Looks like we got Catherine Murphy, 7548. So Catherine Murphy, definitely shoot me an email. Uh, you'll see uh, my email in the um, in the description below of the video. But uh, definitely shoot me an email. Catherine, you have a uh, Mad Balls vs. GPK4 exclusive card set. Um, I saw Adam Edwards was right there. Sorry, bro. But um, uh, I'm sure we can work something out for that. But Catherine Murphy, you have a pack coming your way. Just make sure you send me an email. Um, I looked, I, I, I tried to get it out within a week. So, uh, definitely by all means, try to shoot me an email within a week, uh, to get everything taken care of. But, um, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, definitely Catherine Murphy, leave a comment. So, uh, you'll let me know that you're shooting me an email, but if you like this kind of video, definitely, uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. We're trucking to that 1,500 subscribers. We're going to have a, another big giveaway once we hit that. So that should be awesome, cool. And, of course, we have the uh, May Philly Non-Sports Card Show coming up. That uh, Once it gets a little closer, we'll be doing some uh, prep videos uh, for that as well. So uh, we'll see what we have going. Uh, but like I said, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I have new videos. And always remember, have fun.